Australia's been left holding the bag, or rather containers of hazardous waste, after Denmark postponed a deal to take them. Denmark agreed to incinerate 3,000 tonnes of chemical waste from Orica's site at Port Botany in Sydney. It appears to have backed down after public protests at home, and there have also been some protests here. Demonstrators painted slogans on containers of toxic waste at a chemical plant in Port Botany this morning. Greenpeace says Australia should deal with the waste it creates. Dr Linda Selvey is the Greenpeace chief executive. Well, for a start, it means transporting this highly toxic waste across thousands of kilometres of open ocean. And then the second problem is that it will be incinerating the waste using old technology right next to a town in, in Denmark that will be sending dioxins and other toxic waste into the atmosphere. Basically, that means that we're transporting our problem to somebody else's backyard to deal with, uh, with outdated technology. You've been protesting today where the waste is stored, but what's changed in Denmark? Do you know why they've put off accepting this waste? The people of Denmark don't want this waste to be transported there. The trade unions there have indicated that they're not going to unload the ships and, and the people of Denmark are making it very clear that they don't want that waste. They don't want our toxic waste being shipped over there. They want Australia to deal with the waste here, which is exactly what we should do. So how should we treat the waste if it's stored in Australia? There are technologies available that Australia can put in place that we can deal with the waste without sending any toxic dioxins into the atmosphere. Australia, we have enough waste both here in Botany and elsewhere in Australia that we should deal with it here. Australian government has signed on to a convention which, which is, means that we have agreed not to ship hazard, highly hazardous waste across to the other parts of the world and we need to abide by that. So is it safe to store the waste in Australia until something's done about reprocessing it here? It's up to Orica to store this waste safely um, and it is possible to do but they need to take responsibility to make sure they do that. Dr Linda Selvey, thank you. My pleasure, Nicole.